welcome combatants so we have tanya's um bio now even though we kind of said it the other day they've released a full one so do like subscribe hit the bell notification follow me on tiktok and rumble so yes even though we po i posted this literally on friday they have made a complete fresh one with the same thing so driven by her duty to protect this is tanya's bio which pretty much says exactly the same thing we already know she's the guardian of outworld royal family now what's interesting about this is that she took um jade's role i don't think she has because we know jade is now countess jade so as you can see here, it's the guardian of Outworld's royal family. Chosen as an infant from Outworld firstborn daughters, Tanya was raised by the Ungardi's priestess. She's never known her birth family. As she grew older and saw other init um, initiates wash out, Tanya feared that she would share their fate. But that fear spurred success after many attempts, Tanya passed her trials and became a full Ungardi. So, Tanya does not have a family in this world, um, which we've kind of never known her birth parents either way. We just know she's a Denian. So that's kind of still the same way that Tanya does not have a family and she thought she'd wash out like the other ones, but instead she came through kicking and surprising all and winning. Over time, Tanya became one of the Order's most trusted members. She was the obvious choice when it was needed to choose a new leader for the royal family's personal guard. As an Ungardi, Tanya is now sworn to pi piety and chastity. That is why her bond with Princess Melina, where it known, would cause a scandal. By following her heart, Tanya risks not only her position, but also her life. So right there, that's again, and the same thing that I kind of read out on Friday, but now we see it all properly that she is under like keeping things secret, otherwise, it could ruin her position and everything, even Melina's position. So, obviously, as you can see right here as well, this is a much more closer look at obviously Tanya. We can see the whole outfit that she's wearing, and you can see that it is very much different from all the other ones. And I do like it seeing it more now in a more fuller imagery compared to just the half that we saw. We already saw it in like the game itself but now we can see another full imagery of it and it looks very good i do like it i can't wait to see what other styles and costumes that tanya does have because the yellow and black is definitely nice i would have liked it instead of like a dark gray it'd have been like pitch black instead to have it more pop the yellow needs to pop a little bit more you know what i'm saying yellow and black just pops ultimately it's like my favorite color yellow and black is like i love yellow and purple purple and yellow is beautiful too but yeah, so it would seem that, yeah, Tanya is definitely going to be a very interesting character that we're going to get to see how her ending will turn out or how her future will be become. We do not know. Will she overuse her powers and have her eyes turn um, white and then ha by healing Melina so much like I did in my theory video um, literally a couple an hour ago or a couple. So if you want to check that out, you can see what I'm saying about that. But if so, it could be possible that she does that and then has to leave because whatever's going to go on in this game with Tanya and Melina I do not see them ever actually still staying in Outworld they will stay in Outworld but they will not be you know on good terms with everybody so they will probably run away or they will become solo or anything we don't know but I am very interested in seeing how it's going to turn out for Tanya I love Tanya so I can't wait to see it but let me know what you guys think of her story and about her and can you not wait but do like subscribe this is your boy future boy as always stay frosty peeps peace